Hey folks and welcome back to another episode of Got Game Testers where we play test games and let you guys know about it so you guys can decide whether or not it's good enough. Uh, today's game is a game called Marital Bliss. Uh, it's a game by the Finks um, and yeah that's their last name. It's a couple that made a game about couples. Uh, go ahead and figure that one out. Anyway it's going to be on Kickstarter here very soon um, and it's, it's a little different. It's a game for just for couples that takes uh, about a week. Um, why don't we just skip all this and go ahead and check it out. So in this game, Marital Bliss, it's a, it's a little different than most games as you would prefer. Um, I, I would rather say that it's uh, <coughs> gamification. Now if you're not familiar with gamification, gamification is simply play, putting uh, game mechanics to incentivize people um, to, uh, usually it's for customers or for employees to do things that they wouldn't normally do um, simply because it has game mechanics applied to it. Uh, so in this case, I'd like to say that marital bliss is kind of like gamification in the sense that you're gamifying your marriage. Um, you're putting game mechanics to a couple, um, whether it be you know dating or whether it you know be married. Now, to say that, uh, there's two different piles of cards, okay? Um, there's the reward cards and then there are the mission cards. Uh, the reward cards are going to start off um, by picking seven different reward cards uh, like this one for example is your royal majesty, you're the king or queen of the day which I'm not really sure what that translates to but this one is the spouse has to do something that he or she would uh, normally hates doing or the reward is the wine and cheese, beer and chips delivered to you and when you smile or, and this one is um, your wish is my command. One free wish spouse must obey the best of his or her ability. My wife and I, uh, we played, she had where she got breakfast in bed and I got a batch of cookies if I were to win. Now what you're supposed to do is, as a couple, you look at the same set of seven reward cards and you simply just play them out. Uh, you, you pick one and you say, this is my reward at the end of seven days. This game actually does last over a period of seven days, not necessarily in seven minutes where you would play most games. Then you pull out these guys and these are the mission cards and we'll just show a couple of them there. Um, mission cards are simply your, uh, their secret missions that you can pick from. You start with seven cards and you can discard any at the beginning of the game before starting really at all. They have different point values. So like this one came, the remote control. It says relinquish the remote control to your significant other for the evening. Uh, you get three points. Now there are something in addition to these that are called brownie points. And this says watch something that you normally wouldn't watch together. Um, for example, this one, the rhyming mission card, what a treat. Uh, it's for seven points as opposed to three, and you write your spouse a poem, um, short and neat, and an extra brownie point would to recite it to him or to her. Now, obviously, if I ever wrote a poem for my wife, she would be skeptical. If I even recited it to her, she would definitely know that it was my mission. Now, the purpose is that these missions are secret. They're not supposed to know what these missions are, and if they guess what your mission is, they, you actually lose those points. Whoever has the most points is simply going to get their reward. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, so today we've got a very special guest, and I bet you can't guess who it is, but I'm gonna let her introduce herself anyway. Go for it. Hi, guys. I'm Jarek's wife. My name's Jen. We've been married for a little over a year, and this is my life with Jarek is playing board games. Lots of gaming. Yeah, she didn't play a lot before, but she does now. I don't think she's played everything in the collection, but she'll get there. Anyway. So, all right, let's talk about Marital Bliss. Uh, why don't you go ahead and start and tell us about what your thoughts were about Marital Bliss. Okay, so when we were playing Marital Bliss, we had just gotten back from a trip, and I was like, okay, sweet, games, this is what we do. <laughs> we hadn't really played games while we were gone, so we picked out our reward, and and then we picked out our, our cards that we were supposed to play, and we started playing, and I was like, wow, some of these are kind of tricky. But some of them can be hard, yeah. Some of them were like blatant, like, duh, I already do this every day kind of thing. But you know what? If, so, yeah, like she said, if you you could really work some of these cards. Um, I, which one was it that you didn't really, that you couldn't really do very well? Um, what was it? Oh, rubbing my head. She was supposed to <laughs> massage my head. Now, I would have loved that. However, she felt that that was too obscure. Obvious. Something, yeah, obvious. Something that she hadn't done before. Um, and you know what? I just kind of, you just have to be creative. Like, make it seem like a natural situation. Like, totally nonchalant. 
you know, like she could have caught me in front of the computer, in front of the TV, and started rubbing my head, and I would not have known the difference because I'm dr- zoned in on something else. But you know what? Uh, sorry, I did I interrupt you. No. Okay, good. So my thoughts. Um, pretty simple game. Okay, it's obvious that this game is single towards trying to make you constantly be romantic, I guess, or at least do kind things for your spouse. Um, if you guys have a hard time like doing nice things for each other, this kind of forces you to do it in such a way, but it also makes you think about it. So if you do it a bunch of times throughout the week, they won't actually think it's your mission per se. Right. So like one of my mission cards was that I had to open the door for my spouse. And this bonus point was to open the car door. I was thinking to myself, how in the world am I ever going to get away with opening the car door for him? And yeah. I never tried because I didn't want him to call me out on it. I did open the church door for him. Yeah, she got she got a door, so she got a point. I mean, he sort of caught on to it, but he didn't call me out on it. Yeah, because <laughs> it didn't seem like a big deal, you know, opening the door. Okay, no big deal. Like she just wanted to get in or something like that. Anyway, I like the game that it's simple enough. Um, you can play it over a week. I think that if you're going to play, it, uh, you could basically decide like if you want to do crunch time, you can play it within four days. I think I think four days would be good. Yeah. You know, if you're going to have seven cards, about four days because. You're going to nick some of these cards out anyway, right? So Right. For me, after a while, it wasn't very incentivizing for me to keep doing this stuff because I was kind of absent-minded about it and didn't really remember a lot of times. Uh-huh. So seven days was kind of a long time for it. But at the same time, some of them talk about, like, plan something for the weekend. Well, if you started on a Monday, you have all the way until the, the weekend to have to think about that one, so... You would need the seven days. Yeah, that's true. So they're very specific, and that's why they give you the option to like eliminate cards before you start, because maybe there's some things you can't do. Right. Um, but point system seems pretty fair. I mean, she had six cards and only completed five. I completed five cards, but I got a lot of my brownie points, so I only won by two points. It wasn't like a huge difference. She thought that she was going to be totally crushed because... I completed all of my cards or whatever, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I like the rewards because you can change it up a lot. Like, there's tons of rewards in there that I, I like. Um, you know, our, mine was bake cookies, so I still she still owes me some cookies there. Right. But um, breakfast in bed's not bad. I mean, there's some tons of these different rewards that are so good, and and even still, like I had I was trying to get a double whammy in there because it says my mission was also to bake cookies. Mm. So, bake cookies together. So, I would have gotten two batches if I was smart, but I didn't actually deplete that card. Anyway, so what do you think? Do you think Marital Bliss has got game? I think it has got game. I don't know if that's how you say it. But <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of how you say it. it. My only other concern with it is the rewards. Sometimes, some of them were like just too extravagant that I was like, well, we can't even do this anyway. So we had yeah. to throw them out and it leaves you with things that you may not be as incentivized to do stuff to earn that. So maybe for some people it would really work and for others it's not. Whereas I've kind of grown up where my parents had to uh, write down, okay, you'll get this if you do this quite often. So maybe I'm a little jaded too. And, yeah, maybe. Um, to rewards. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to say this... this Marital Bliss has got game, for sure. However, you need to understand that this is not, obviously not for singles, okay? If you're living with someone, sure, you could work on it. Um, but the the thing you need to understand is that this could be really good as an instructional game. Like, if you feel like, if one person's saying, let's go see a counselor, and the other one's fighting it, let's not see a counselor, this is definitely a compromise, I would say. Sure. You just have to play this game over and over and over and over until you guys get over whatever it is. So, if you guys, I mean... Because it kind of forces you to be nice, you know, and do nice things for each other constantly. So I think if we were to play it again, we would probably be more competitive and try to call each other out on the missions a little bit more. I don't yeah. think we did that because we were trying to be nice and do the nice things that we were supposed to in the game. But if we really wanted to be uh, picky with it, we would probably be a little more competitive. Right, and there's a co-op version too to this game because you can um, you can either play competitively, like she said, where you're trying to call each other out on missions, or you can simply uh, play to a certain number of points in so many days. So if you like, you have to complete 15 points worth in cards right. in like three days or something like that. So that's the co-op version of it. But yeah, cool. So thanks for coming on the show, sweetie. You're welcome. Love you. All right, folks, and that was Marital Bliss for you. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, Definitely a game 
uh, that you would pick up for a newlywed couple for their wedding day or maybe an anniversary gift of some kind. Um, definitely not the normal games that we play. So when we say it's got a game, we mean it's, you know, it's fun. It's, it's, it was, it's perfect for what it's made for anyway. Um, you know what? And there are definitely some perks about it. Because you know what? Bet you can't guess who won our game. Mm, those are pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to finish these and we'll see you next time I got game testers.